the, the clouds really did play a part into what happened over the you weekend as far as the air show. Yeah, yeah you, you know called that, it, Jess. I, yeah, I had a feeling that that trough was going to dip down enough to really impact visibility. You know, as a pilot, I think of those cloud ceilings a lot, and I definitely was concerned about Saturday's forecast. But you know what? The air show was amazing Friday and Sunday anyways, so I'm glad that people here in the Bay were able to take their eyes to the skies and still get a good show in, two days at least. Here's what's happening as we head into this afternoon. Daytime highs still holding on tight to 60s near San Francisco, very similar to the weekend's forecast 60s along the coast 70s and 80s all throughout our inland spots with that fire weather watch still in effect right now for Solano County as well as the Sacramento Valley and that highlighted blue color you see along the coast it's a beach has a beach hazard statement breakers could get anywhere up to around six to eight feet today and of course sneaker waves are possible so just be careful out there heading out to the coast we are sitting a little bit above normal for our daytime highs today lasting into this week this is the next six to ten days issued by the climate prediction center showing above normal conditions throughout the whole state of California as we gear up getting closer to Halloween's forecast. Another thing to mention too, as we head into this week, there's a slight chance of showers as we head into our Tuesday evening, early Wednesday morning forecast. It'll come in from the north, so we'll start seeing showers move into the North Bay Tuesday evening around Wednesday morning for that morning commute. You might notice a trickle or two of showers just in your local commute, whether you live along the coast, along the bay, but by the time we make our way into our inland spots, it'll be a little bit more dry. So here's what our inland areas are actually looking like as we head into the next seven days. We could still see a little bit of morning showers throughout some parts of the North Bay or the East Bay, but by the way that we make our way down into the Santa Clara Valley, that's when we start to see it taper off. By Thursday, we're back to sunny conditions, though. 70s turning into 80s, 80s into the mid-80s just by our Saturday forecast as high pressure tries to creep its way back in. These temperatures, believe it or not, are a little bit above average for this time of year. That's the reason why the Climate Prediction Center is showing that. We could see daytime highs sitting in the 60s and 70s back and forth along the bay throughout the rest of this week with that marine layer filling the bay each morning, clearing up into the afternoon hours, exposing us to nice sunshine throughout the afternoon. We even see beautiful sunny skies all day long on Saturday to kick off the weekend in style. So we have a lot of beautiful weather in the forecast for us. A little bit of everything as we head into this week, and I'll talk more about that coming up in just a bit. Gianna.